E3 took over Los Angeles and the gaming world this week, so what was the biggest news to come out of the convention? I'm joined by The Hollywood Reporter's gaming editor and Heat Vision Breakdown host, Patrick Shanley, to break down, no pun intended, <laughs> the biggest three moments from E3. So Patrick, take it away. Nice wordplay for starters. You're not real. You're cloud. Uh, first up, we have Final Fantasy VII. It is a remake of the classic 1997 Square RPG. This was first announced in 2015, and this is the first time we're actually seeing gameplay footage. We have a release date next March in 2020. Uh, we also got to play the game, or I got to play the game, and lucky people got to play the game at this year's E3. They completely rehauled everything in this game. The visuals are different. There's voice acting. The original was text-based. The gameplay is completely different. It's much more of an action game as opposed to a turn-based role-playing game, which is what it used to be. This was by far my favorite thing that I saw at this year's convention. It's also, full disclosure, my favorite game anyway, so I'm a little bit biased. Yeah! Yeah! Hold on to that hatred. That's like the ultimate fan experience, and it sounds like fans are going to love it. They will. Now, EA also showed off some gameplay footage from Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. So what was the response to that like? Uh, at first, the response was not positive. People have been waiting for this game and got very excited for this game when they found out that Respawn Entertainment was working on it. Respawn is known for the Titanfall series. They also released Apex Legends this year. They have a good pedigree of making good games. The gameplay footage that they showed at EA Play on Saturday was a little underwhelming for fans. They didn't like the look of the game. They didn't think the gameplay was as tight as they thought it was going to be. I've played the game and I was on the fence before I played it. After playing it, I want to put all those uh, concerns to bed. This game is amazing. It is very, very tight. It's super deep gameplay. It's a lot like the Dark Souls games, if people know those. So a lot of parrying, uh, really deep combat, lots of different enemies. And also, it looks amazing. It's a new Star Wars experience, a new hero. We have familiar faces and a brand new droid. There's a brand new droid, his name is BD-1, Buddy Droid 1. He's adorable, he's like a little chicken dog that runs around, he lives on your back, he's amazing. Oh, he sounds so cute! He's adorable. And speaking of cute, Nintendo offered a look at The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Now, why was this such a big deal? Okay, so Link's Awakening was originally a Game Boy game. It came out in 1992, 1991. It was a lot different than what we saw of this year's iteration, which is coming out on the Switch. It kind of has a tilt-shifted art style. It looks a lot like uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the classic uh, animated films from the 60s. It has that dollhouse feel to it. But they also completely redid everything. There's a whole bunch of references to other Nintendo games. The gameplay is really fun and sad. Satisfying. It feels like classic Zelda, but in a n whole new way. It's uh, it's appealing to old people, young people, newcomers, people who are familiar with the old game. It's one of my ones to watch for next year. It sounds like you had the best time ever. I had a really great time. I can't feel my feet, but it was a good time. And well, for all of Patrick's E3 coverage and everything you need to know about the convention, you can head to THR.com. Thanks for all your insight. Of course, thank you.